Today I'm going to demo to you about uh, how to create race and uh, how to basketing and uh, how to generate a race result. Assume that you have already know how to create uh, rings and assign the rings to the chip rings. Okay, so we skip the process here. We go directly to create race. Firstly, we go to the race tab, and the race tab have the most uh, race functions in the window. But if you want to keep the records, uh, you don't need to delete the race. However, in the clock, delete the previous race. Your birds will not release for another race or training. First, if you want to uh, create a new race, you can just click Add New. And of course, you can uh, use existing uh, liberation point to add it. Okay, for example, this one. Uh, if you want to customize the liberation point, so click on Customization Liberation Point. So you can change the liberation point and the coordinations. The most important is the liberation code. Uh, this is important that uh, the club information here, the drop down box, actually you can add it to add a new club. You just right click on the drop down box and click add and you can create new club code and club name and press save. This is for if the club manager using like uh, in union associations or the pigeon federations, you own lots of club and you can create the club. And next you select liberation date as today and liberation time as you can set and the liberation code here we suggest in four digits liberation code will combine the liberation date into our race code so our race code is eight digits and press save here you go there is a new race after you create a new race, now you can synchronize the clock or your fancier clock in here. Connect to PC. Synchronize. There's some more need to know that uh, in the, when you create a race, if you create the liberation date earlier or liberation time earlier than the current time. Next is the sun data setting. If your race, uh, if you let your birds will come back overnight uh, or over several days race, Okay, you must enter the sun data settings here. Uh, you must follow in the, the format that's showing on the screen. Okay, and using the 24 hours time systems to enter the correct time. For two days racing, it must enter two lines. For three days racing, you have to enter three lines here and you save. Okay, so next you go to the clock with the clock antenna. You can do the uh, race marking. And race marking here, you have to select the race, of course. And now we're using the four rings to demo. Four, eight. Four, five. You 
can continue marking. Four, six, all your birds together. Four, seven. Then you, after you finish, you press stop. And now the basketing process will ask you, uh, you want to print right now? Uh, please note, uh, the printing is very important here. You must print out the basket result. After you have marked and printed out the report, uh, you can go back to bring your clock back to your loft and connect to your loft antenna for the race. And you can share your, your race summary here. Okay. The four birds is ready for arrival. If you want to continue using the, uh, our club managers for the uh, results calculations, one thing you need to do is to load the marking uh, result uh, to the club managers. So the same, you have to connect connect to PC and go to the mark result upload select the race code here okay it's today 7788 uh, 11 of May uh, you can press enter or you can wait because it uh, upload automatically here you go uh, mark data you want upload success. to use the loft antenna to simulate the bird's returns okay please note at this time you cannot connect to the club antenna you have to remove the connection of the universe cable and directly uh, connect the loft antenna with the clock In the club manager of iPigeons, uh, race manager, there is a menu at race. Okay. Uh, this is for the situation like uh, you're using iPigeon to join the club that is not uh, using iPigeons. You can use this race uh, to join their race. Okay. And. Uh, the race has default some values inside and the liberation time is uh, tomorrow morning uh, 4 o'clock okay and uh, of course you can edit uh, according uh, to the real situations however this menu add races were not synchronized to the club managers and you okay. can also use the race manager to delete the race. Now you can go to the home page and see the bird returns. Right now there are three birds already returned. You can click on the race, okay, to see the detail of the birds All right and now you can go to the club to report the race you go to the race manager select the race the first thing you 
press the arrive so it's in the arrive process there is a confirm windows double confirm and at this time you can print and the print header is so called race in progress because not all your birds you can So we can close the race. By clicking close. There is a confirmation message. And you can print the final result. In the club managers, when you right click on the race, you can do a lot of things. One thing is to calculate the distance, okay? And before you uh, come out the result, you need to calculate the distance. So you press the loft distance update, distance calculations, and you can load the race result from the clock. You just select the race code. Okay. Here's the result. And with the flying speed. Okay. And you also can uh, check the race result from here okay to keep you uh, records in the clock uh, there are some other thing you can try uh, is add edit other clock this is when uh, there's an unknown or different brand clock join your clock and you can manually enter the uh, all the data inside uh, and can come out a result report together import uh, distance okay this is for some uh, clubs or uh, union they have their own distance tables you can use these features and you can also delete the race to release all the birds for another race